Hello and welcome to Natural. My name is Brooke Beerhouse and this is the series where we take featured locals out into our natural state. We are starting our day out here in downtown Bentonville at Train Station Park. Now, you may have noticed this beautiful art installation behind me. It is bright, bold, vibrant, and today we're going to meet the artist behind the installation. Danielle Hatch is a local artist and she's going to be coming with me out into one of my favorite trails. It's a strenuous one, it's going to be a hot day, but we're going out to Devil's Eyebrow. First, we're going to hear from Danielle about the inspiration behind this piece and what makes it so special here in downtown Bittenville. Well, I want to learn a little bit more about your art installation. Can you take us through the inspiration behind this piece? Sure. So this is a collaborative uh, installation that was created uh, with a local poet named Tracy Maness, who's from Siloam Springs. She's a fourth generation Arkansan and it was inspired by the words of her poem, Foothills Healer, which is really about the strength and resilience of Ozark women. The poem itself is about an Ozark woman healer who utilizes native plants to um, care for her friends and family. And so one of those plants that provided the inspiration for the color was the wild burdock flower. And so we sort of took that natural element and worked with uh, 21 local women to help embroider the text of the poem all along the um, exterior of the installation. And we wanted guests to be able to feel like they could interact with it and touch it and also like experience nature as the wind blows through the piece. So that was kind of an important part of the piece as well, that it not just be a piece of art that you're looking at from a distance, but something that you get to experience um, physically as well. Oh my gosh, I love that. And we're gonna get more into how nature inspires you as we're out on the trail. Today, I actually brought iced coffee because it's too hot to be doing a hot <laughs> coffee out there. Thankfully. But let's get started. We'll meet y'all at Devil's Eyebrow. up one of the big inclines and this trail offers a lot of elevation gain and descent and essence so that's something to be aware of but also the trails are really wide and they're wide because they used to be old logging routes so you can walk two abreast pretty much the whole way <laughs> which is great for us My husband and I and our kids moved to Arkansas about two and a half years ago from North Texas. I originally studied architecture, which I think, again, relates to the sense of place. So that really is how I started making art, is thinking about um, like a site and how do people interact with it. And a lot of the art I made originally was about um, sort of calling forth histories of a place um, in sort of a, a temporary way. But yeah, to give people a different way of experiencing space. I especially love like built environments that are like dead spaces that for some reason like people walk around it and just yeah. sort of examining that and thinking about like why was the space designed this way why does the human body like avoid it or you know or just like researching the history of it and wow. so that's how a lot of my installation started so yeah thinking about about how humans interact with places a lot of the work that I do explores like how the female body specifically experiences space but then um, I have three children and so inevitably like my work changed as a result of like understanding and experiencing motherhood yeah. and just like that visceral like um, change in the female body and so um, a lot of the work that I've done more recently has kind of dealt with um, this idea of female ancestors and like how are we connected to those stories of women that have come before us. I did the piece here in Bentonville. Um, Tracy and I were researching at the um, Shiloh Museum of History in Springdale. And so 
we had discovered this history that like the first female mayor was in Arkansas and Whoa. we found that, yeah, it was incredible. And so we were, read a bunch of documents about her life and like she was dubbed, it was dubbed like the petticoat government because her whole city council was women as oh well. God. Yeah, so pretty significant thing in the history, but of course I had never heard of it before. And so I think that would be important for girls in Arkansas to maybe to know that. So we had a wonderful conversation. Thank you so much for Thank coming out for here. You yeah, I mean you getting out in this heat and then also cooling <laughs> off. We found some shade. We that did, was nice. we did. And now that we are caffeinated, we're gonna finish out this hike and go back and cool off um, in, in Bentonville, probably. Sounds great. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>